and today i want to make another quick video for you guys talking about one of the most frequently heard thing in maple story when you're gonna log in when you're gonna start playing the one thing you're gonna hear the most are dailies so let's talk about it what are dailies what type of dailies there are and which type you should do so let's begin the type of dailies you're gonna hear the most are gonna be the dailies you're gonna get when you pass level 200 meaning the vanishing journey dailies they're gonna start from vanishing Ve journey you're gonna get a daily those daily rewards xp and arcane symbols arcane symbols are used as a way to gauge if you can actually damage monsters in the areas above level 200 and give you a flat boost to your main stats so these dailies are the most value for your time meaning that regardless of the time spent you're gonna get a reward which is arcane symbols and those arcane symbols if you invest into them and enhance them you're getting a guaranteed value and that's the daily that people are gonna stress the most you're gonna need to do and be honest i realize that you don't need to rush it take your time and enjoy it if you don't like the daily quest don't do them if you like them do them but do it at your own pace because this is gonna be the main cause of burnout for a lot of people so if you like the daily quest do them if you don't don't and the daily quest i'm actually talking about are not just the missions you get the daily quest actually div divides into two parts the daily quest and the arcane river pqs now those pqs can be really annoying if you don't know what you're doing and I'm gonna rate them one by one by the one I'm doing and I can talk about. So Arcane, the other Spectrum is by far the most RNG reliant annoying one because honest to God, those orbs can explode in any given moment and they will give you such a headache. So honestly for me, it's easy to do once you know how to do it, but RNG can screw you over and make the run so much longer than it's need to be. Hungry Moto is probably the best one in terms of your time investment in comparing to how much you can get from the Arcane symbol as long as you go for the highest difficulty. Now Hungry Moto gonna take some time to learn but once you learn it it's one of the most fairest and fun to do for me in terms of the Vanishing Journey quests. So if, you, if you're gonna take a little bit of time and study this one, one of the best and most fun you can do. Now, Dream Defender is gonna be one of the most efficient in, t in the aspect of time because you can get in and out so quickly when you're not climbing the floors that this is gonna be one of those dailies that you're gonna feel the least amount of pressure to do and the most fun you're gonna have doing. So in terms of doing this, Dream Defender is gonna be the best. Spirit Savior for me is gonna be one of those that again like hungry Moto, the more you do it the more you land the better results you're gonna get and the more value you're gonna get but for me it's the one of the most frustrating to do at the moment i'm actually skipping this and you know what it's okay to skip those if you don't like those it's gonna slow you down yes but it's gonna preserve your mental health it's gonna allow you to play for longer yes it will so if you don't like something and it's just in terms of time screw it don't do it if you don't like it now the defend in moras it's actually not a bad one pretty easy you kill some monsters you're gonna see a boss monster appear in one of the floor and gonna kill the monster pretty easy and a sphere guardian you're just gonna kill some monster shoot some stars out of the sky and once you learn the angle to be honest not one of the worst quests to do and these these area are actually slow so again, if you like them, it's an added bonus and you can advance this area a little bit quicker. But if you don't like them, don't do them. It's your mental health that's important and the longevity and because this game is a marathon, not a sprint. Moving on, there are daily quests that you can do below level 200. And these are the daily quests that you might want to take more time to do if you're trying to progress your account overall and not a specific character now Ursus is a really good one if you're gonna do it on double time you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck and if you can log in doing double time even not in double time it's still worth doing getting up to an s rank which is 1000 team points if you're soloing or 200 and 200 million damage on the boss you can get so much money out of it 
that I would say you should do it on the daily. This is a really good one, easy one, not so complex, really nice to do. No fifth skill job, only fourth, only fourth job and below. So be aware of that. And it's really fun, easy, quick, three times in and out and super nice. In Reboot, you're gonna find more people doing it and in regular server, I would recommend just doing it solo and even if you can get the S, you're gonna get so much money in overall progression. Monster Park is good for any character that you wanna progress as your main character because the mellow you're gonna get from this particular thing after doing 77 diamond of each event is so good. And if you wanna see a really in left depth review of this particular daily quest, you can check it out on my channel. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about it, but honest to God, you should do it if you have the time and energy, especially the high level you are. Getting XP is hard and having this consistently giving you a percentage of XP each and every time you log in and do it is really good. So you should do it and invest a little bit of your time just to get those coins, to get those red potions and green potions and, and maybe blue potion to get your weekly bosses done so much easier maple 2 now maple 2 is a hard one to recommend even though it gives you a good amount of money for the time you invest it's sort of a monster park clone but with your money and the prices are not immediate so for me it's a hard pass i did make a full on guide it's still in my computer if you guys want me i can advertise i can publish that one but to be honest, it's one of those I would say skip and do horses instead because horses is way easier and the money is immediate here. If you want a full guarantee value, you're going to need to wait throughout the week. So for me, it's a skip. But if you like it, do it. If not, not. Now, one other daily that you can do is commercy. Now, commercy is mainly used for transposing and getting those really good commercy equipment. This is not gonna be a quest you're gonna think immediately i should start doing but the earlier you're gonna start doing and the higher you're gonna and the quicker you're gonna get your vessel to rank three instead of one or two the easier time you're gonna have saving up for those really good commercy equip or just the narrows for those really annoying transpose you're gonna need to do in the future so would I recommend doing it? Yeah, am I doing it each and every day? No, I value my mental health. So when you feel like it, do a couple of runs, get this going, don't stress out about it. But again, the, e the more you're gonna do it, the early you're gonna do it, the more easy it's gonna be in the future once you actually enter the end game to get those dominated pendants and, uh, and the papillatus hours into better equipment and transposing those and honest to god this is gonna make the difference once you're in game but if you're not don't stress out about it take your time do it easy and steadily and within your range now we're gonna talk about the third type of daily quest which are the daily bosses now daily bosses when people talk about daily bosses they are mainly referring to this line of bosses starting from hardware line going all the way to hardware mode these are what we call the daily bosses these are the max difficulty daily bosses. Everything above these, these are already weekly bosses. So daily bosses, I recommend if you can do, do this line and add Omni Clan, Chaos Hauntail, and Pink Bean to your must do dailies. If you're gonna do all the daily bosses, I recommend doing all of these. And if you're feeling really nice, Juliet and Gales can be added to the list. Juliet is actually gonna go out. So if you want to experience this boss, you should do it before it's gonna go away. And Galax again, for those nice equipments that you can see, the superior Galax ring and superior set in general, you need to do the Galax. And if you need a carry, just if you have a great guild like I have, which is Ocean, shout out to the amazing guild, which offer carries, use it get the coins build it up slowly but surely get these calls maybe buy the equipment and start upgrading because honest to god this is gonna be your best in slot for quite a while until you're gonna get to the true end gaming now root abyss is something you're gonna need to do a bit if you want to eventually do the chaos versions of because you need to kill them a couple of times are they recommended to do on a daily basis? Yes, if you can reach this line. If you're not ready to kill all of these bosses and you're struggling, 
go ahead and kill those honest to god those crystals are gonna go to waste if you're not doing any so if you cannot kill half a line and you're having a hard time with Arcarium, go ahead and substitute them with normal Hotel, easy von Lion, easy Arcarium. Just get some bosses and crystals going. You want to get your account going. So doing these is really good for the quest and for the crystals as well. Normal healer and normal Zakum are a good way to farm some good XP on some side characters and not just for the crystals themselves. So if you're having a side character and you want to push to level 140, Zakum is a great way and normal healer is another just nice boss to do and throw out instead of training for those legion points. So you can do those and supplements. Hope that you guys like this little review of what dailies mean. But the, the bottom line is do as many dailies as you feel comfortable doing. This is going to be one of those reasons you're going to log in and if you don't feel like doing those, don't do them because they're gonna grind you down little by little if you go all in all the time prioritize the quest that you feel like gonna be the most important and impactful to you at the moment and don't stress out if you don't do them all hope this gonna this guide is helpful for you and if you liked it leave a like if you disliked it leave a dislike and if you really liked it maybe consider subscribing to the channel for more nice videos Hope you guys are gonna have a great day and see you next time. Alright, that was all.